Hi, this is Ariel. Bonjour. Today is all about how to make quick change costumes. Voilà. If you are not up to speed, we made a skit with my friend Beryl Bonjour. for a huge cosplay competition, the World Cosplay Summit, that we won with this number, which was all about Sailor Moon. <laughs> There are nine costumes that we had to show off in two and a half minutes. So we had a ton of tricks to actually make it work on stage. And we had never done something like that ever. So this was a huge challenge and we had a lot of fails. <laughs> the main thing that you may have noticed on our Sailor Moon costume is that they are covered in sequins and glitter. And this was our way to make them look magical because Sailor Moon in real life, it, it doesn't work. I'm not a, like a magical Barbie. <laughs> so this was our way to make them more real. I don't know if it's the best way, but that makes those costumes a lot more exciting to make and a lot more difficult. Yeah. <laughs> so I will show you in the order of the show. So we start with Sailor Moon in her school uniform. The whole thing looks like two pieces, but it's actually one. So this costume is not magical. It's the only one not shiny. It is held in place with Velcro. The white here is cotton, but actually on the inside, it is a very slippery lining, so it can slide off the dress underneath. <laughs> The skirt is made with this a very bulky fabric that is actually for outdoor furniture. But same, it's very slippery, so it's not catching on the sequence underneath. And also it makes it very rigid. So when it's on the tiny dress that really flares out, it doesn't look too much like a ball. It kind of stays in the shape of a skirt, if you know what I mean. One of the sleeves is detachable with Velcro. And the rest of the dress can be taken off in one movement. With the skirt like this, you kind of understand that there is a dress hidden underneath, but we didn't really mind about this because this is a show about Sailor Moon, so you know this is not going to be the final costume. And this is why for this quick change, I did not even hide it. And for the boots, we covered them in a white fabric. And this was one of the things that never really worked well because First of all, you kind of see that there is a red shoe underneath and also the white fabric didn't really stay on very well, but sometimes it stays on too well. I think that is the whole thing about quick change. You need a costume that stays on, but doesn't stay on too well. All these costumes, they cannot be worn like a normal costume because if you make certain moves, you might lose your costume, which might be a problem if you are in public or not, depending on the situation. But yeah, that meant a lot of failed attempts, a lot of testing, a lot of rehearsal were just a mess. <laughs> Next, we have the four sailor soldiers. These costumes are not very pretty, but you see them like two seconds, so it's whatever. But they are the quickest to change. And how we actually did it is that those costumes, those are not exactly dresses. I would say that they are more like aprons. They are stacked on top of each other and they close at the back with those ribbons. And on each side ribbon, there is a little loop that she can feel and catch. And when she pulls the loop, the whole dress falls off because it's very, very slippery fabric. Look at slippery. And the little hearts at the front, they are made using flat foam, so they don't make like a giant bulky thing when they are all stacked together. So we have one, two, three, and four. And the last one actually has an extra petticoat. It's the same problem we had with the blue dress. Since these are a little bit longer than the dress underneath, the petticoat actually prevents it from going boom. But why did we decide on this order? It's actually because of the size of their hair. The four wigs are actually stacked on top of each other. And this one is actually the last one. But it's not the smallest hair. Yes, it is. Once you do, once you do this, 
This wig is underneath all the other and there is a nail on it. It's not pointy anymore. And then you can stack all the wigs here, just like tickets at the store. <laughs> That's how we got the idea. <laughs> and then there is Velcro at the back and the ponytail is actually also Velcro. Wow. We didn't bother changing the shoes or the gloves because it's really not visible from afar. Next, we have the star of the show. These two dresses are constructed in the same way. They are made entirely out of sequins. And you put them on using a zipper on the side and a few snaps. To take them off, there is a ribbon going through little ribbon loops on the back. This ribbon has a ring and when you pull the ring, the whole bag opens in one second. These little ribbon loops are sewn to a bone on the back to make sure that they are very aligned and that the ribbon can slip through very quickly. On the skit, we actually pull each other's ribbon because we wouldn't take the risk to losing a few seconds just to look for the loop. The two dresses have brooches on the front and they are made of resin. I sculpted them in plastiline and made a silicone mold and then I pour resin into it with different layers of glitter to add some depth and make them more magical. And all the gold parts are made using a gold leaf. On the inside, they also have a very slippery lining and the skirt has actually a second lining that is kind of shaped like a bag and this serves to hold the big dress that is underneath. And as a bonus point, it gives volume like a petticoat because the original skirts are completely defying gravity. We have a few fishing lines of different thickness to hold like the little wings. And there are 10 snap buttons on each dresses so they can remove all the parts. The gloves are spandex. Pretty simple white spandex with a cuff made of sequins as well with a little padding and a silicone band inside so they stay up on my arm. Same with Chibi Moon. The boots are actually some black shoes. Uh, okay, like this but in black. For this one we added a fabric part on a strong fabric with a bone at the front so they stay up. A little up, a little glitter moon. And this piece is just glued to the shoe and we try to hide the, the, the limit with some glitter. And for this one, they were not attached because we needed the last costume to just have this shoe on. So this piece actually has magnets. There is magnets on the shoe and there is magnet on the leg piece and everything snaps into place. And the advantage of magnets is that they can be removed so, so, so quickly and you don't need to pull very hard. The Sailor Moon necklace also had a little magnet on the back, so it can be removed the same way. And then we can talk about the wigs. Those wigs are shaded using alcohol markers and glitter. The Chibi Moon wigs has the crown attached, so she can remove both in the same movement. And we used a lot of wood glue in these wigs because to put them on quickly, they needed to behave more like a hat than a wig. So they actually kept the shape pretty nicely. The little decorations at the front are mostly rhinestones and also feathers that were dipped in wood glue. The Sailor Moon wig is built in a similar manner, with also the shading in glitter and also the little feathers as a decoration. And the long tails are covered in a sort of sock in organza. This trick we discovered in the old Sailor Moon musicals where they also had costumes made of sequins. And this does a great job at keeping the tail together so it doesn't tangle in all the sequins, which is a big problem when you have sequin costumes. For the little round hair clips that she has, I put magnets inside the bun and on the back of this so they can, so they can actually attach very quickly. If you are like me, you enjoy learning about new stuff all the time. Which is why I am super happy to have found Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community with thousands of online classes, 
that covers a ton of different subjects. There is a huge number of skills you can learn from knitting, gardening, dancing, drawing. Recently, I've been taking this class by Jordi van de Poot on advanced video editing with Premiere Pro because I like editing and I really want to make my channel better and more enjoyable for you. If you are interested in trying out any of those classes to develop new skills or getting better at existing ones, Skillshare is a great place for that. It's ad-free and there are new premium classes launches every single week. And if English is not your first language like me, do not worry. You can get Skillshare entire catalog in Spanish, Portuguese, German, and French. Et en français. And if you are interested in joining Skillshare, you can click the link in my description below. The first 1,000 people who use that link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you for sponsoring this channel. And now, back to Sparkles. Then Chibi Moon turns into Black Lady. Although the original dress looks more like velvet, we decided on sequence because this is what we do. It is lined with the shiny pink lame, and we put a lot of red rhinestones to simulate the kind of red shimmers she had on her dress. She has two blue pieces of fabric that we also covered in rhinestones, and the top is this purple organza where we also added rhinestones. The sleeves are actually open underneath the arm, so they can be hidden inside the little dress, and when you take off that little dress, they fall down. And the cuffs of those sleeves have a hidden bracelet inside, like a snap bracelet, so she can put on the sleeve in an instant. Wow! You may have noticed that the necklace of this dress is actually the necklace of the small dress, and only this part is visible at first. So then when she changes into the black dress, she also adds a black necklace on top of this one. This necklace also closes with a magnet, so it's really easy to put on, even if you don't really see where the closure is. The Black Lady wig works the same as the other. It is very rigid to be put on quickly and also it has the organza sock to protect it. She also has this long scarf just for dramatic effect. And the final dress is Princess Serenity. The bodice has an embroidery with 11,000 beads and the circles represent the different phases of the moon. It was not in the original, but I think it adds to this costume, don't you think? This took the longest time, but that was the thing that I was most excited about. If you like what you see, maybe you could subscribe. The dress has a built-in corset with steel boning and a waist tape, and it closes with eyelet. The white dress also has a cape, and it's held in place with an elastic and clips, and also has the sleeves attached, so the whole thing can be put on in one movement. The wings are made of fabric, so they are very flexible, and they stay hidden when she comes out. There are two carbon sticks that I can grab, and this helps hold the shape of the wing and also make them very wide when I open my arm. And there are also 12 meters of lead wire that are sewn into the wings. It's just simple fairy lights, but I think it adds a lot more when the stage lights come off. We went for dramatic on this one. <laughs> and also an extra little bag to carry our stuff. Making all this work really, really was a challenge. And even then it didn't fully work on stage, but that's okay, it's done now. We had a lot more ideas. We didn't make everything in one go. We had to try things to make them work. We had to change our plans depending on how our tests went. There were a lot of ridiculous rehearsal in my living room. <laughs> While you enjoy the amount of work and fails here, I would like to take a moment to thank my Patreons. You are supporting my work, you are giving me the time I can spend editing all these videos and so keeping them free for all the others, which is awesome. So really, thank you. If you are interested, I will put the costume report of all this on the Patreon page for all tiers. It has all the pictures and the work in progress with all the explanation. Maybe that can be useful to someone. So if you are on Patreon, you're probably watching this a bit early, but I would like to say thank you really from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much.
So basically our secrets are a lot of layering with a lot of fitting to make sure that we don't look like a bag of potatoes with all the costumes underneath. Velcro snaps the ribbon loops, lots of magnets and basically just trying and failing and trying until you have something that you are kind of satisfied with. So with this we won the World Cosplay Summit on stage which means we are going to Japan again. Yes, we want another trip to go there and judge the next ones. So if you are participating, I hope you find something useful here. I will make a playlist of all the videos on this project on my channel or here. And now I have to clean up everything. Bye!